As U.S. President Joe Biden prepares to arrive in Israel on a solidarity trip, Israel Hamas have managed to drag the war to its 11th day now. Both sides are still exchanging fire. At least 1,400 Israelis have been killed so far, and over 2,750 Palestinians have also lost their lives in the ongoing conflict. Over 1 million Gazans have been displaced, and IDF, IDF says that over half a million Israelis have also been relocated. And while Israel prepares for a possible ground offensive into Gaza, Hamas says that the offensive doesn't scare them and they are ready for it. Hamas has released a televised statement where the group claims to hold between 200 and 250 people in hostage in Gaza that include foreigners. Though the group says it is unable to fully and accurately control the existing numbers of hostages due to security and field considerations, Hostage release, Hamas says it will only free them when field conditions allow. While as per the group, 50 other hostages are held by other resistance factions in other places. And 22 hostages have been killed in the bombing. Hamas's military wing has also released video of a 21-year-old Israeli hostage who appeared to have suffered an arm injury. The Qasem Brigade's video show a dazed woman who identified herself as Mia Shem. In the video, she said she had been taken from Sderoth near the Gaza border where she had been attending a party. Hamas said she had undergone a three-hour operation. The Israeli Defense Force, while reacting to the video, however, said that they have informed Mia's family and are in continuous contact with them. IDF also added that in the video, Hamas is trying to portray themselves as humane. However, no one should fall for it. Meanwhile, dozens of rockets are still being launched daily from the Gaza Strip. Rockets were launched from Rafah in the Gaza Strip towards Israel on Monday. Sirens continue to go off around the central part of Israel throughout the last 24 hours. While Israeli military is preparing for their ground offensive in Gaza, Iran's foreign minister has said that they could launch a preemptive attack against Israel if it prepares to start the offensive. And the preemptive attack is in fact possible in the coming hours. Meanwhile, Malaysia has expressed an open support for Hamas. Malaysia's Prime Minister has said that the nation would not give in to Western nations' calls to condemn the militant group. He said that Malaysia has a long-standing relationship with Hamas and this relationship continues. The PM also said that he would travel to Saudi Arabia on Thursday to attend a conference of Gulf states and ASEAN leaders to discuss the new crisis in the West Asia and efforts to aid Palestinian civilians. Israeli army has released footage of targeted assassination of Hamas leader. The army says that they have killed the head of the Hamas Shura Council, Osama Lamsini, in Gaza City. And as Gaza runs low on food, fuel, electricity and other critical supplies, European Union has said that it would launch a humanitarian air brigade operation consisting of several flights to Egypt. Now, this aims to bring supplies to humanitarian organizations on the ground in Gaza. EU says that the first two flights will take place this week and it will carry shelter items, medicines and hygiene kits. On the other hand, a new front appears to be opening on Israel's northern border. In the latest, Israeli army has said that it killed four militants attempting to infiltrate from Lebanon. Israel also launched strikes overnight on Hezbollah targets in Lebanon. Israel said that it would evacuate 28 communities that are within two kilometers of the Lebanese border. While Hezbollah said that it shelled Israeli military positions in the northern border town. For more on this, we have with us our correspondent Siddharth Sibyl, who has been covering the conflict from the front line. And he sends us this latest report from on ground and at Tel Aviv. Take a look. The situation in Tel Aviv remains of an uneasy calm. The U.S. President Joe Biden will be traveling to Tel Aviv and uh, show his support and solidarity with the people of Israel at a time the country is facing with its worst terror attack, Iraq, which is done by Hamas, in which 1,400 Israelis died and many of them have been taken hostages. But essentially, the Americans will be keen that the tensions are diffused because that can engulf the entire West Asian region. 
but there's a lot of pressure on uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu to attack on Hamas hideouts uh, at a time when there's a lot of anger on the street. And if he is not seen taking strong action, he could face political death. With video journalist Sanjeet Sudhansipal for Vion in uh, Tel Aviv, Israel.